What is going on everybody, Dan with Gear Focus here and today we're gonna to be talking about how to take awesome, epic drone photos. Make sure you guys stay around to the end of the video, we have something very, very special for you. Let's get it. Intro. For today's video, we're gonna be using the new DJI Air 2S. Now, what I'm gonna be talking about today can be used on pretty much any drone, so don't feel like you have to have this specific one. Now, the hardest part of taking drone photos is finding the location. Luckily for me, I live out in the middle of nowhere, so I have plenty of pictures to go take. I say lucky because I have a ton of farmland around me, and farms have a lot of geometric shapes in them, whether you realize it or not. So with that, let's head out to the field and we'll get started on our first tip. Pun very intended. So my first tip to you is get everything out of automatic mode. You wanna switch everything over into your manual mode so that you get the most flexibility you can out of your camera. And once you're out of manual mode, we wanna set our photo mode to the auto exposure bracketing, which if you do the three picture option, will take three separate exposures for your picture and then you stack them in post and then you get a high dynamic range photo. So one of the first things that I like to do when I'm flying is I like to kind of scope around and see what I'm looking at, because we're not really gonna be able to tell what we're looking at from ground height. So as we get higher up in the air, we'll be able to see what's going on. We're getting to a corner here, and I really like to use these geometric shapes to kind of help with the framing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go straight down because this is honestly one of the most unique views that you're gonna get with your drone. So I'm gonna try to frame everything dead center here as I move forward. And I'm gonna try to get my camera in line with the road that's up here. So we'll have kind of a four corners effect. Ooh, there's a red car coming in. Let's see if we can get it right in the middle. Hell yeah. My next tip is to make sure that you are shooting in either four x three or three x two, whatever your drone has. And the reason for this is because you're going to use the entire sensor when you shoot in four x three or three x two. Now the benefit of this is more readily apparent when you're editing because you can crop and reframe because you have all of the resolution that that camera can pick up. If you shoot in 16 by nine inside the camera, your drone is going to crop part of that image off and we definitely don't want that. So tip number two, shoot in four by three or three by two. It'll help, trust me. Now tip number three also has to do a little bit with the editing side of things, but you wanna be shooting in HDR or high dynamic range. Now in order to do that, you need to be in auto exposure bracketing and this will take three different exposures. We have an entire video on how to set up and edit HDR photos in Lightroom. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and click the link that is right here. Most of the time with drone photos, we are shooting some kind of landscape, which are high dynamic range scenes to begin with. So if we shoot an HDR photo, we're gonna be able to capture all of that beauty that that landscape is showing us. Now tip number four is picking the right time of day. Now when you're shooting drone photos, you really don't have the option to manipulate the light. You're pretty much stuck with the natural lighting of your scene coming from the sun. And in order to get the best image, we need to shoot when that light looks the best, which is during golden hour. So for this tip, we're gonna wait for the sun to go down and then I'll meet you guys at my local park. Many hours later. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is already looking absolutely killer. Gonna have to bring it back down again. So this is one of the <laughs> one of the downsides of the Air 2S. You don't have that adjustable aperture, so you have to uh, kind of mess with your NDs while you're on the ground, which during golden hour and sunset isn't exactly the most ideal because you have such a different dynamic range from your sky to your ground. Sometimes it's just a little too tough. Now for tip number five, all the way from Iceland on the side of an erupting volcano, Joey Helms. Joey, over to you. What, we live? Okay. Uh, hey, Joey Helms here, reporting live from the volcanic eruption in Iceland at Geldingeladir. And we're gonna talk now about a photo tip, a drone photo tip that is about composition and angles. So drones allow you to capture an angle that you wouldn't be able to get with a normal camera. And I don't mean necessarily by flying high and just get like some super high vantage point, but it can be also something like flying over this lava field or like just like hovering over the lava field and take a photo from that vantage point 
you certainly cannot walk over this and capture that angle. So find an angle that is unique to be able only to be captured with a drone. And on the other side, you want to compose your shot properly and use the golden ratio or the golden triangle. The go no, it's not golden triangles in Cambodia, right? But the golden ratio and the golden circle, which is an nice and anyhow. Actually, the golden ratio is found also in nature and it's something that is, is just aesthetically pleasing to the human eye. It also helps uh, for the viewer to decode your image, have a starting point and then explore and discover more and more pieces and parts of the image so that you can just like take the viewer on a journey as well. Now rules are also obviously there to break them. The golden ratio is a great starting point. You will get very pleasing results, but drone photography also offers you to shoot abstract top down images where you can line up your shots so that uh, you have like symmetry that makes you wonder what uh, or makes the viewer wonder what it actually is. So um, try it out and with that I give it back to Dan in the studio. Whoa. Joey, that is awesome. Those pictures turned out amazing. Be careful with that giant erupting volcano behind you. And for you viewers at home, make sure you head over to Joey's channel to check out some of his most recent content from Iceland. You might have seen the video where he flew his DJI FPV drone into the volcano. If you haven't seen that, the link is right here. Once again, thank you to our friend Joey Helms. These images look incredible. Please stay safe out there with that erupting volcano and get back to Chicago safely. With that, I'm out of here. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember Gear Focus is always here to help you feature passion.